Did you know that it took all of human existence until the year 1800 for the world's population to reach 1 billion people? The second billion only took 130 years and was achieved in 1930. The third billion accelerated and was achieved in 1960. The fourth took 15 years, hitting the mark in 1974. And the fifth, only 13 years back in 1987. Currently, the world's population sits at 7.7 .7 billion, and based on current estimates, will increase by 14% to 9 billion by the year 2037. When the world's population grows, resources grow scarce. One of those resources is food. If you're following global trends, the population growth of the world bodes well for countries like ours that produce the food. Here in North Carolina, we are blessed with a strong and vibrant agricultural industry. Agriculture is North Carolina's number one industry with nearly 50,000 farming operations and an annual economic impact of $87 billion. While this economic output is impressive and good for our state, imagine if you will the economic impact of our state if we expand the emphasis of our agriculture industry to include more than just growing food for the fresh market. Some of the highest population growth areas we are seeing in the world today are in regions like Asia, Africa, and Central and South America, regions that struggle to keep pace with feeding their populations. By transitioning our state into the realm of food processing, we can grow, process, and distribute our food around the globe to feed the world. Take this can of green beans. Currently, our North Carolina farmers grow the beans that go into this can. The can sells in the store for about a dollar. Our farmers earn about 14 cents on the dollar on this can of beans. But too many times our state ships the beans out of state to places like Ohio that have made the investment in food processing to process the bean. In fact, 80% of our North Carolina harvested products are shipped out of state to become finished products that show up in the grocery store. They can it, label it, ship it, and make about 86 cents on the dollar. Got that? We grow it and make 14 cents. They process it and make 86 cents. We can do better. Under the strong leadership of our state's Commissioner of Agriculture, Steve Troxler, in partnership with the Dean of Agriculture and Life Sciences at NC State University, Dr. Richard Linton, this transition is well underway. Recent investments in the state-of-the-art Food Innovation Lab, the hiring of experienced food manufacturing experts to lead this venture, and the continued awesome work of North Carolina State College of Agriculture and Life Sciences are paving the way for our state to lead the nation in building a new food manufacturing economy. But there is much more to do. It'll take time and leadership. But how exciting is it that at this time in the history of the world, we are uniquely positioned to feed the world.